Hi there, I'm Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today's plan with me, I'll be pre-planning and decorating the upcoming week in my Erin Condren Life Planner. This week we are going into February. So I'll be doing my last winter themed spread before moving on to Valentine's. So I was looking through all the winter kits that I had left and I actually found one that I have been holding on to since last winter over a year ago and I would really like to use it so here it is it is by the shop clever gal crafts it has beautiful gold foil it's actually just three pages it's a mini kit so I will probably pull in a lot of other sticker sheets from my collection to add in where I may need to I also pulled in some washi tapes by Simply Gilded, these two here, so that I could use um, probably in the bottom area. And I'm excited to get started. So let me go ahead and pull off my pre-planning notes, which I wrote on this notepad that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. I really honestly did not need another little notepad, but this one was so cute. I loved the pattern, so I'll put that off to the side to refer to. This is just a little bow paper clip I made myself, and of course I brought out a little pen gems because I thought this color matched really well, and these are some of my favorite collectible pins. I think what I would like to do is white out these lines down at the bottom before I put down the, the washi tape. Um, just because these are a little bit light, kind of kind of transparent. So just to make sure that you don't see the lines poking through, I'll go ahead and white it out and place these two probably on top of each other, either this way or that away. I'm not exactly sure. But, let me go ahead and do that. Oh, by the way, I apologize for the band-aid. It's really minor. I just had a splinter and I just didn't want y'all to have to look at it. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the bottom washi. I got my bottom washi down and I think I like the way it looks so I'm going to move along now as for my last week's spread or current week it's coming along pretty well um I just made sure that last week when I did my plan with me to leave myself some extra white space to fill it in as I go throughout the week so I really like this setup and I think I'm going to continue to do that for this week as well. So I'm going to start with the decorative boxes. And we actually have quite a few in this kit. We have nine on this sheet. Actually, we have another one here on this one that has really pretty foil. It says comfort and joy, which kind of reminds me a little bit of Christmas. Um, actually, I mean, that's really a good... A good quote for any time during the year. I'm not sure I want to use a quote box because there's also really cute deco. This says, love, peace, and joy. And that might be really cute to use up at the top. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to try to put in as much color as possible. And I also want to include the little bunny and at least one of the little deers. Let me go ahead and just... Start. My favorite, I think, is this pretty, pretty pink. It's kind of a peachy, corally pink. So I'm going to put that in my Thursday and just kind of scatter these from the uh, bottom and middle row. Yeah. All right. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week or had a really fabulous week. Mine was pretty nice and productive. Uh, the only thing that I put down last week during my pre-planning that didn't end up happening was the day that I thought I would film this plan with me. I put it down for Thursday, but today is Friday. <laughs> so what happened yesterday for Thursday is that um, I went to my son's school for this new program that they're doing called Stories with Pups. 
It's where they bring in a trained dog to sit with the kids during uh, story time. And it's just a way to kind of kind of excite the kids, encourage them to go to the library and stuff. And uh, I was just going to say during that, but the book fair is next week and I was asked while I was there if I'd like to stay and help set up. <laughs> so I did end up staying the whole uh, school day. Uh, we actually, which was fine, which was totally fine. We actually really love the, the book fair. I tend to splurge every time <laughs> I go. Uh, during the like open house, well it's not open house, was it family night? Because my son is a really a really big reader. He goes through books like a beast, which is which is great. I'm glad that he is a good and confident reader. And I'm also really glad because he still he still allows me to read to him at bedtime. I'm thankful for because I, I en yeah, I enjoy that time with him. I mean, he's nine. He'll be ten in October. So, you know, I'm wondering how much time I have before he's like, he's done with bedtime stories. But for now, I'm, you know, I really look forward to that moment with him. So, anyways, so yeah, anyways, today is Friday. I'm filming TGIF. <laughs> When I woke up, the Planner Boss Collective sale started. Um, are any of you guys purchasing on Etsy, placing any orders with this sale? If so, I would love to know which shops you checked out. Let me know down below. I'm going to try to be on my best behavior, but I have like the whole entire weekend ahead of me because it doesn't end until really late on Sunday. So if you're watching this on Sunday, it's still going. So we'll see how much damage I do myself. I okay, I like that so far. And let's see. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the sidebar for now. I still have some full boxes. I think what do I, I think I might want to use the deco. Let me pull out everything I'm going to need for my sidebar because we don't have a lot of sidebar items, but I have quite a collection, so let me grab out everything. All right, I think I have everything I need here. I pulled out some headers by Rose Colored Days in gold foil as well as a habit tracker. And then I found some boxes, full boxes by the Glam Planner. I have one that I will use for my master to-do list, my priority list for the week. I also have one with the Monday to Sunday that I'll use for my meals for this week. And I think to place down the gold headers, I may use some of that Simply Gilded Washi as a backing. And as for the top corner, I'm thinking I would like to use some of the gold foil deco. I think I'll use this really cute wreath that says love, peace, and joy. And then maybe, maybe the really pretty bird with the sprig of some kind of pretty floral. Looks almost like pink baby's breath in a way. So let's see. That should be good right there. Probably could just place this down and place the word right through the box there. This is for my spending. Any spending that I do through the week. I'm always telling myself I'm on a no spend, but I tend to mess up so I will circle the days I mess up so there we go spending and then I was matching up colors here I'm going to do this shade I think it's very close to this box here for my meal tracking my meal planning what meals we have 
probably put a little washi down for the header. And I'll cut that with my metal ruler. It's just really easy to line things up and give it a sharp cut. There we go. Take that box right underneath. Hopefully I'm getting everything straight. So I didn't start with a full box. Ah, so far looking all right. The word I'm using is this week, but I did actually just order a sheet that says meals, so that'll be a little bit more appropriate for when I am using this to track my meals. We'll do another washi for my priority to-do list. And the box actually already says uh, do these but just so that everything looks kind of cohesive like a nice flow I'm gonna still put a header on top that says priorities because what I have what I have been doing is only giving myself a three checklist like half size checklist for each day like my top three each day but then I have my master to-do list on the side now what color I think it was this color here that I thought went really well this shade yeah this one um, I think I'm gonna have a little bit of space I'm not sure if I'll have enough for deco we'll see that's gonna be my priorities These are fun colors. I'm really excited for spring. This doesn't really necessarily look as wintry as it does spring, but I mean it has all these fun little winter elements. It's definitely super cold outside. Um, well, it is today, but yesterday was like really, really nice. Speaking of which, it's going to be like Groundhog's Day this week coming up. Friday, next Friday, yep the second do you guys like to see what the groundhog does sees a shadow or not I always think it's kind of fun I don't know when I was a kid I used to be super superstitious about a lot of things I got over a lot of it as I grew up but I sure hope he says spring because I'm kind of over winter once like Christmas is over that's just me personally Okay, maybe I could put um, a little bit of deco. I don't know, maybe the bunny will fit. I don't want to take up any room in the box. If I push him as far down as possible, maybe I'll just center him in right here. That's not too bad. I thought it's all right. I think I'll keep that. And yeah, so I'm all done with the sidebar and this planner is so fresh and new starting at January I'd like to take a little chunk to kind of even it out there Give myself a little bit of a more even surface to work on so there are checklists included right here I'm going to cut them down to just half size so there's three three little snowflakes <laughs> for each day so I'm gonna grab out a pair of scissors and I'm definitely not an expert at eyeballing this but I'm gonna do my best and just cut on through And actually I wonder if I should place my headers down first before I place these down yeah I think that's what I'm going to do just because I think I would like to place these underneath my header so that I could get them all straight. So I did pull out some headers. I got a mixture of things to use. I have these really pretty bow headers, gold foiled bow. I'm thinking, what shade did I want to use? One of these pink ones. They're very, very close. 
Mm, maybe this one here. And they're just going to go over the decorative boxes. So every decorative box will get a little bow header here. Okay. Um, for the rest of it, I pulled out some glitter headers. These are my older sheets. But I decided that I would do this shade of blue. And as crazy as this sounds, I want to do the green. I thought that was really close. And... Why not pull a little bit more in? But I, actually, I'm thinking I would like to keep the green maybe up at the top. So we'll do green up top. And then blue will just go over the other boxes where I will do my today section. I also brought out some date covers. So I'm wondering... I'm wondering if I need to do the whole whiteout thing again. I may need to. These date covers are by Simply Watercolor Co. These are kind of like some blue to green shades. I'm going to take the lightest blue at the top. I might as well white out my dates then just to be on the safe side. I brought out some numbers. I believe these are these came with it also by uh, Simply Watercolor Co. So I'll need my little tweezers so I could get those down nice and straight. Let's take that and place it on top. Alright, there we go. And we are on the 29th for the date. And I'm going to go ahead and do all of that all the way across. I will be right back with you guys. I got all of my headers down. I actually was able to find two flags in the kit that I went ahead and placed up in the corners, which actually the colors that were there, the blue from January and the pink from February matched, and I could have I could have left it, but I don't think I'm going to use all these flags if any this week, I don't really know <laughs> until I get to pre-planning. So why not take advantage of some more of that sparkly gold foil? I do need to finish with my date dots. So I will do that right now. Wednesday is the 31st. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this Wednesday, actually. Um, because I am going to go out to dinner and shopping with uh, one of my dear friends, one of my girlfriends. Um, we don't get to hang out with each other as much as we both would like. She is a full-time nurse, so she works really crazy hours. That's why it's going to be <laughs> Wednesday for us. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I don't really get much, you know, me time like that, so yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of like special. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. Oh, I did pull out a weekend banner as well. These ones here, different fonts by the Tasseled Planner, which I when I do a stagger, I usually place it down here in the bottom washi, and that's really honestly the only thing I could think to do still. So I think I'm just going to pick one. Maybe this one at the top. Just kind of layer it down here. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in between the two under Saturday and Sunday. There we go. I like it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and plop down the checklist now. I want to create kind of a pattern. 
So let's see. Flip it in half. I'll do, I think, maroon, pink, green, blue will go in the center since we only have one of them. And then I could repeat. Sounds good to me. So let's see, what else have I been up to this past week? Oh, I've been uh, working on a little project in my hallway. I've been trying to uh, re-photo, reframe my main hall, my main hallway. So I got some ideas off Pinterest. I'm pretty much just trying to do the gallery wall look. So it's actually been taking me a little bit more time than I expected but that's because well I'm having a lot of fun with it I want it to look really nice and uh, I'm kind of being picky about what I want to place up on the wall and I got to strategically fit the frames and everything and I'm almost done with it I have to make one more stop to go uh, get some frames it should be done, but I'm trying to uh, put some past photos in there as well as our most recent family photos we've taken. Oh, what color am I at? Pink. And then also I wanted to have a frame that was um, easy for me to just every year when my son gets his uh, school photos new ones that I could just easily take it down and usually we always put the typical size I think the large one that you get 8 by 11 we put that up so I just wanted to get a nice frame and I could just switch that out every year yeah so that was just a project that I've been working on and sorry if you guys could hear my neighbor's dogs. They have quite a few of them and they're outside. I think they're barking because it's a very cold windy day as I mentioned <laughs> earlier. Uh, I don't think they're too happy. So if you could hear them in the background, I apologize if it's if it bothers anybody. But all right, pretty satisfied with the way it looks. And I think I have all my main structure down. So I'm ready to go ahead and pre-plan. I'm just gonna zoom you on in to Monday. All right, to start with, I'm gonna put down my symbol of energy and motivation to start a new week using a coffee cup. These ones here are by the Crafty Banana. They have my name in it, so I really like them. Just pop that up by Monday, because Monday, always by routine, is just my cleaning day. And most importantly, the day I get done my laundry. So I'm just going to, I think I'll take one of these cute little circles here. And I want to make sure I kind of get that straight, the foil straight. Hopefully that was good enough. I'm going to place down the word laundry. I will be cleaning the whole house, but if anything happens, this at least is what I need to get done. Since everybody goes back to work and school, I want to leave as much white space for me to functionally use this planner throughout the week. So I'm not going to put down anything that I don't believe will happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and move on to Tuesday now and place down, I think I'm going to take one of these flags. I think this is like a deep maroon or brown. I can't really exactly tell, but we'll use that to mark that I like to see if there are any two dollar tuesday deals i may be interested in on etsy so i'm going to take this little etsy symbol icon by paper muse crafts well, i don't think i even mentioned my laundry script sorry about that this is by sweet bella xoxo all right and on this day we are going to go to the book fair family night so I want to take a gold foil like scalloped half box and this is by the shop Tasseled Planner. I'm going to put that in because I'm pretty excited. Stock up on some new books 
And I'm going to take this sheet here that I got from Squirrel Prince Co. It was when she was doing $2 Tuesdays. I'm not sure that she does them anymore. But these are little books. Take a nice little blue shade. Just pop it in the corner. To mark, we're going to the book fair. On Wednesday, I get to do my little girls night out. I definitely want to mark that. So I'm going to use this Girls' Night by Little Miss Papery in a green shade. I'm going to pop that off to the side because I think we definitely talked about starting off with a little bit of Starbucks. So I'm going to take another coffee cup, but I want to take a gold foiled one by Planning World. And any of these are cute. I'll take a pink shade. Um, I could go light. Or darker pink. Let's go with the lighter pink, I think. Pink, I think. I don't know why I say that often. <laughs> I got it stuck in my brain. Let's just pop a little cute coffee cup off to the side. And we are going to go do some shopping. And next week is my husband's birthday. So I may use that time to pick up some things for his birthday. I think I'll put down a label to mark that. Let's take this blue one here. And oh, look at that cute little present. I'll use that little gold foiled bow on the top. That's cute. So I wanna actually keep that little gold foil on the label. So I'm gonna put the label over here. That gold foil. So I could put the present on this side. There we go. And then I have some space here and here for whatever else I may need to mark. And that, my friends, that is that. Moving on to Thursday. Um, Thursday, I am going to see if this time I can film on Thursday. So there's actually this really cute little icon here. It says planning time with the glasses. So I think I'm just going to layer that into... Let's take this deep maroon, brown, whatever it's called. <laughs> just kind of as a background. I don't really need to write in it. It's a really deep shade. I'm going to push it towards the top. And then layer that over. Now, I kind of mentioned that I would like to start filming on Thursday just because uh, Friday, my husband gets to come home early, and so it just kind of crunches my time on Friday. So if I could kind of start to change my schedule to one day earlier, it'll just help me overall. Uh, so once again, I'm going to try to place that down, um, and hopefully it'll work. We'll see, though. And then if it doesn't work two, two weeks in a row, I'm just going to go back to putting it on Friday. I also, oh, I need to mark that it's trash night always on Thursday. Um, I think I will use, let's take another one of these little blue flags. I'm going to place it down towards the bottom. And I'll even overlap closer to the washi. I don't mind that at all. Who really cares about these dotted lines? <laughs> I don't. I've just surrendered. So I'm going to take these gold foiled trash cans. They are also by Clarigal Crafts. You know, I kind of feel like taking a creamy shade. Let's do that. And there we go, because I want to leave some space to mark anything else that pops up. You know, if I'm going to film, I would like to paint my nails which I did end up marking last Thursday, and I did do yesterday. These are nails from yesterday. Um, they don't look perfect because I did dishes last night <laughs> after dinner. I'm going to put down this little flag here. Really cute. And I'm just going to get like a little nail polish icon, which I have plenty of different ones, so let me grab one. I cannot believe I have not used a single one off this sheet. This is by a shop called Planning and Mint. I don't even think she's open. This has been hidden behind all the others. I, I think I want to take the pink. You know, the blue and the gold is really nice, too. 
Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, I grab the pink. Let's just do it. Mm, I don't want to take all that space up above. I'd rather overlap down below a little. Okay, and that's going to be it. Friday. It's, um, oh, it's Groundhog's Day. And I, I think I do want to mark the results of the groundhog. Did he see his chateau? Just for fun. I think it'll be fun. I think I'll take the pink. And let's put it a little gold on the other side again. So I could put a little icon over here. Like a little reminder. So let's use like a bow paper clip. This one by Planning World. I actually want to take this gray. It matches the bunny like really well. And it's really nice and dainty. So I don't take up too much room in my label. And there we go. Um, I'm going to put down another one of these. Let's take the blue one. The pretty leafy. I mean, they both look like leaves. This looks more like a palm leaf. And this is more of a, I don't know, chunky, chunky leaf. <laughs> I don't know what, florally leaf. Ah, uh, there we go. I want to put down what we do for Friday. TGIF. Moving on, guys. Um, the weekends are super simple. It's always the same routine. It's family time. We usually go out and entertain ourselves. If the weather's not well, not the best, then we will stay inside um, and enter entertain ourselves with pizza, movies, games. So I'm going to take a marquee. I like to use marquees, not just for movies, but any fun activity. I think it's a cute little way to write down something fun. So I like to use those. And these ones are by Simply Watercolor Co. Let's go to Sunday now, which I should have a plan with me go up from the day I film. I just noticed that there was this planner gal, little clip uh, clipboard, excuse me, clipboard with the glasses and a little birdie sitting on top of the glasses. Can you see how cute that is? I thought it was cute. So I'm going to use that, and then I'm going to use that sheet. It has some little dots. All I do is abbreviate the three social media places that I like to go. So that's what I'll do. Let's put the blue in the middle since the header is blue. I'll take this shade as well. And let's, maybe we'll do a green. All right, and leave the rest of Sunday open because obviously I'm not only going to do social media, but that is going to be it. So let me go ahead and zoom back out to show you the finished spread. All right, so here's our finished spread for the week of January the 29th through February the 4th. And I love the way it turned out. I love the color scheme and I had a lot of fun pulling in different sticker sheets from different shops to pull the whole thing together. I hope that you enjoyed planning with me as well. And if you did, would you let me know by giving me a big old thumbs up? That really makes my day. Also, if you would like to check down below in the description box, I'll list all the shops I use today and then include any coupon codes I may have for those shops. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'd love to see you again soon. And if you want to, you could hit that little bell icon. It'll just let you know the next time I upload a video. And until I see you next time, friends, as always, I just want to wish you the most beautiful day and happy planning. Alrighty, till next time. Bye-bye.